All right, everybody, in this one, I have a 2013 Hyundai Tucson, as you can see on the screen. Um, issue with this one is that the ABS, um, ESC, and uh, downhill assist lights are on onto the vehicle. Apparently, the vehicle was already scanned, and they came up with a rear left sensor fault. Um, we're just going to scan the whole system uh, and see what type of faults might be in the, in the system. And I'm also going to put a link up in this area over here for how to test uh, Kia and Hyundai ABS systems. So that way I don't have to go through the whole diagnosis pro diagnostic process in this. I'm going to go through it a little bit, but not uh, in its entirety. So, like I said, look up in the corner, find a, find a link, click on it, and it'll bring you to how to test uh, Hyundai and Kia ABS systems. All right, so we only have one fault in the whole system, so we'll go into the uh, ABS ESC module. Uh, we will go to recodes. All right, left rear speed sensor circuit open or short. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do real quick is just take a uh, test light. Um, we have to bring the scanner with us, and we have to hook up onto the signal wire coming straight from the. Uh, no, sorry, we have to hook up to the, the voltage wire coming straight from the ABS module um, onto the connector. And what that's going to do is that's going to show me if there is actually an open or something like that into the sensor harness. Um, we have to take and we have to erase the code from the system. And what that's going to do is going to trigger the ABS module to send out a pulse. If I get that pulse onto my ABS uh, sensor down at the bottom, more than likely we're going to have an issue with the... Uh, more than likely, we are going to have an issue with the sensor, but uh, we have to check our wire from front to back, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that really quick. All right, so I'm going to get us set up underneath onto the rear left, and we'll start from there. All right, guys, so sometimes doing visual inspections help out. Um, I don't know if you guys see how like stretchy this area is. I can tell you right now that this area has a broken wire on the inside of it. All right, just by how stretchy it is right here. All right. Um, I'm going to try stretch it all the way out for you, everyone. Oh, it doesn't even want to go. But anyway, I can tell you guys right now that this area right here, there's like no wire that is connected. I'm going to cut it open just to prove my point, but uh, it's going to be an ABS sensor right here. All right. So let's go get a, a cutting apparatus somewhere. I think I have one, some, one lying around. Okay. Cool. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I'll open that. Uh, oh, you guys didn't see that. I'll open the loom up. I'll show you guys that it was all uh, corroded on the inside. But uh, I thought I was going to need a tool for that. But sometimes a visual inspection goes a long way. So uh, let's come see if where is my little knife. Get a blade and I'll be right back. Ice in this. Salut. 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 For me, I, I personally, I believe that it was stretched out. I could probably get this code to go away just by connecting those two wires, which I might do. So, give me a second. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's my broken. It was actually up here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Good. Uh, broken up higher. More than enough. I think we'll fix this up. Jesus. Where's it broken? It's ridiculous. 
I'm not even cutting this and it just keeps on snapping. I think I'm gonna run out of a uh, wire soon. Wait, it's going. Ugh. Let's see if I can fix this for them, but let's just say that Kia Hyundai sensors are not the cheapest. So if I could take and fix it, why not, right? Beats taking apart all the interior trim in order to fix it, so yeah. Is there any other spot that might be broken on this? Here's this one. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can get in here without the, all the wiring breaking. You guys even see what I'm doing? Yeah, you guys can see all that. So there was more than one area that was broke. Let's see. All right, now we got some solid wire. All right, well, let's take and move the loom on this side. I'm just doing this real quick guys just to see if I can get the code to erase if I can I'll I'm gonna put everything in, in properly all right if not we'll take it we'll put a a new sensor in, uh, into it but uh, hopefully it just fixes it so if we can route this a little bit just to give me an idea all right here so the points that this broke at were the points that were supposed to keep it in spot which is a little bit odd but anyway So there's two ways we could do this. We could erase the codes or we could go in and just cycle the key on and off and see if it works. I think I'm gonna cycle the key on and off. Um, but then again, that might not work because some of the Kia vehicles, you actually have to take and drive them for everything to, to go away. So, um, kind of stuck. Great. Everything, all the wires are hooked up. Let's bring you guys around. Walk over to the... All right, so now what should happen is that if I go to the race codes, emission on engine, engine off, we're just gonna erase everything. We're gonna go back in and we're gonna see if our codes come back. No fault codes detected. So now what I'm gonna do is just take and lower the vehicle. Um, we're gonna take and see if the system is working properly now. And uh, we're gonna go from there. So set you guys up so you guys can get a nice little view. Okay.
So this video was done pretty much live, guys. I didn't. The only thing that I stopped was when I was lifting the vehicle up, and that was maybe about a minute or two. Um, so typically, this video was about 15 minutes. That's how long it took it to fix this car. All right. So I can tell you right now that the car is fixed like this. All right, okay. Show you guys the dash. We'll start it up. And no more ABS ESC light. Codes are off. So. Um, can you fix this without changing the sensor? Yes. Um, but after that, you got to make sure that you put it, uh, er, route everything in the proper spot. Make sure that the wiring doesn't move around too much. So there's a uh, a small issue with that, but I think we'll be okay with just putting some uh, some heat shrink onto that wiring, um, making everything, uh, making sure everything is nice and uh, weatherproof. And then we're gonna ship this vehicle. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.